Hello, my name is Paige Turner. In this video, we will learn how to add document templates to a SharePoint library. In our new hire flow, one of the steps is to generate the contract of employment and to populate it with the job description of the new employee. The target question, position, has three job titles, business analyst, IT manager, and HR assistant. In the document templates library, there are four document templates containing a job description of each, business analyst, IT manager, HR assistant, and contract of employment template. To upload a document template, go to document templates and select plus new item. Select the word document contract of employment template from the destination on your computer. This document will be a template used in the flow. When you upload the document, make sure you specified the associated workflow. In the title box, enter the name by which the document will be referenced in the system and select the flow called New Hire. Only one flow can be selected. In the same way, upload the Word documents Business Analyst, HR Assistant, and IT manager into the document templates. To edit a document template, click on the three dots beside the document you want to edit. The document opens in edit mode. Select the flow former tab from the office ribbon. In the ribbon, you will see the three icons, panel, validate, and external fragment. When you select the panel item, you will see the flow tree view on the right hand side. The validate icon will activate after you click panel and you can use it to check if the document is still valid. The external fragment option will activate when you click on an inserted attribute from the document. Flow elements fall into three categories, flow, step, and question attributes. From flow level, you can select the following attributes. Completed. This is the date and time the flow was completed. Started. This is the date and time the form was created. Title. This is the title of the flow. And form ID. This is the attribute that represents the ID of each form created. From step level, you can select the following attributes. Assigned to. This is the person responsible for the completion of the step. Title. This is the name of the step. Description. This is the text inserted in the step description at the step definition level. Comments. This is the text inserted in the comments field at the step level in the form. And finally, from the question level, you can select the following attributes. Question code. This is the question code from the question definition level. Title. This is the name of the question. Answer. This represents the information submitted in the form as an answer to a question. Description. This is the text inserted in the description field at the question definition level. Now, let's see how to include field values from created forms into a document template. To include the flow former panel items in the document, place the mouse at the required location in the Word document. Move the mouse to the relevant flow former element and double click on the item. This item will now appear in the document. Continue this process until all the relevant elements have been included in the form. All the flow former attributes are displayed between square brackets. To include a document fragment in your document template, you need to insert a flow former attribute in the document. Click on the attribute to activate the external fragments icon in the ribbon. Click on the icon. In the new window that opens, check the external fragment option and insert the link to the document template you want to use. When you insert the document URL, you have two options. If you only use one document, insert the exact name of the document. If you use multiple documents, you can use value tokens. When you use a token, the document generator automatically picks the answer of the question 
and maps it with the document template that has to be inserted in the generated document. If you expand the repeating table question, you will see a new line called sub-questions. Each sub-question has the same question attributes as any other question. When you double-click or right-click on the answer in a repeating table question, two options appear, repeating table or repeating section. When you select repeating table, the entire table is transferred into the document. The heading of each column is equal to the sub-question title. The values in the rows are equal to the answer of the sub-questions. When you use repeating section, all information from the table is inserted as a text box. Both table and text box attributes can be added or removed. You can also use Microsoft Office Word options for styling and for adding page breaks. Use the Validate button to check if there are any inconsistencies between the document template and the flow. Click Save to upload the document template into the SharePoint Document Library. To understand how to use rules in the document templates, watch the video Document Display Rules.